as he rises. Unbelievable. The dream season isn't over yet. Loyola upsets another team. If you couldn't be at the game in person, near Loyola's campus was the next best spot to be. CBS News' Jeremy Ross is live from Edgewater tonight. You could feel an entire bar hold its breath. <laughs> Only to exhale following the final shot in the kind of winning elation not seen near the campus of Loyola in decades. My heart's still pounding out of my chest. I it's crazy. We never thought this would ever happen. And this is surreal. One of the best fields in the world. Did a miracle happen tonight? Yeah. I mean, a miracle happened two days ago and then again today. <laughs> Keep the miracles rolling. That's exactly right. Let's go, Ramblers. Let's go. Sophomore Megan De La Cruz and hundreds of her basketball buddies watched school history unfold inside Bar 63. I see a lot of people I know, and I'm glad that they're all here cheering on. Ah, get it, get it. Like, I don't even know anyone, and I'd be like, let's go, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be uh, X Spider 2. Go feel right now, do nothing. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Vocal cords were harmed in the making of this story, a tale with lead changes, moments of agony, and minutes at times feeling like pressure filled hours. Four minutes, come on, four minutes for the rest of your life. In the end, the Ramblers and adrenaline took over. I think this is what it feels like to be in shock. <laughs> it's amazing, it's Cinderella story, it's crazy. I... Have you ever felt this kind of energy? No, no. And not long after the game was over, students and fans started rushing in that direction. That is towards campus, but I bet you they're going to be back here on Thursday. That's, of course, the next game when they get into that Sweet 16.